That's the problem we have today, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus Christ died on the cross. And we act like we don't know him. We just seem to not care about the one that can give life. You see, we, we equivocate and box God into a religion. We put him right in the religion. He says, religious. I don't want nothing to do with religion. That's why the world is the way it is. I don't want nothing to do with religion either. You see, I'm not religious. I'm not in no religion. I'm in a relationship. This is our current reality. Truth from the shame. Unafraid. Jesus Christ is calling you to him today. And you see in a world that's wicked, this world is only going to get worse. I don't know why people are waiting for a, a man to come into office or, or a president of some kind. A president, president of some kind to come into office. When the salvation, the eternal salvation is in Jesus Christ. God warned us about pitting our trust in man. He warned us. Well, she said, That's why I don't have she said you my trust in man. That's why I pit my trust in Jesus Christ. I was walking, walking past the church over here. And you know what happened? I looked at the church. And you know, man dresses up the church really nice and takes care of it. But you see, the problem is that God does not dwell in houses built by man. He's in the spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in the spirit and in truth. So while we're busy out here doing rituals and occult practices, God already did the math. He already did the work. You can worship God anyway. What matters is that you come from death to life. You see, Satan wants you to think that when he threatens you with something, that you ought to be scared. But you see, it's permission that he has to get from God. You see, Satan isn't gonna, he's not going to warn you when he attacks you. He's just going to attack you. But when you had the devil coming down on you, telling you this ain't gonna work, that, gonna, that ain't gonna work. There's no need for us to be scared. You see, seeking God, on a higher note, and identifying with a religion are different experiences. Yet many people seem to think that a person who does not identify with any particular religion must therefore be an atheist. But that's an insult to both God and I suppose to true atheism. You see, religions are human instructions, institutions that at their best help people to experience and be close to what they think is God. However, the relationship between a religion and God is like the relationship between the radio and music.